Intel to look at their new products. And the first thing that catches the eye is the Intel Edison, which is this very, very tiny computer on a chip. So, Tom, can you run me quickly through what it does and what its specs are, first of all? Absolutely. So, Intel Edison is targeted at professional makers and entrepreneurs. It is based on a dual thread, dual core Intel Atom CPU clocking at 500 megahertz. The form factor is slightly bigger than an SD card. It's based on a dual core, dual thread Intel, Intel Atom processor. There is one gig of DDR3 co-pop here. This is the PMIC. This is a 70 pin I.O. connector. And the I.O.s are Arduino compatible, right? That is correct. Right. That is correct. You see a debug port here. Right. This is 4 gig of EMMC on this device. You see a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth LE module, the antenna coax, and then the antenna. And that's the, wi that's the, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi there? That's correct, it? right there. Okay. And the antenna is there? The antenna is down here. Right oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, what, what kind of outlets? Where, where do you expect it to be sold? Through? Um, it'll be sold through a number of different channels um, to be announced. We intend to make it very widely available to, to entrepreneurs and professional makers. Awesome, awesome. I like it. It's really, uh, really quite dinky, isn't it? <laughs> I like these small things. I look forward to seeing that in robots and various bits and pieces in the future. Right, so this is Juliana Intel. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a dual boot uh, yeah. Chinese tablet. Yeah, dual boot tablet from an ODM called Denyu. 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 D a n u e y. Okay. Uh, w. Sorry. Uh, so basically, this will be uh, sold in different countries under either the Denyu brand or other brands. And right. in France, it's sold under the Thomson brand. Thompson. Yeah. Uh, so it depends on what the country uh, brands I want to. Uh, it is also capable of uh, booting either in Android 4.2 or uh, under Windows 8.1. Uh, and uh, of course, and you have the full Android uh, ecosystem and the full uh, Windows ecosystem on the other side. And you can switch between the two by uh, simply rebooting the device and, uh, and go back. So we're in Android now, obviously. Yeah, we are now in Android, yeah. Uh, do you know... Um, and oh, sorry. I was going to say, do you know what specs are? How, how much RAM and stuff it's got on it and that sort of stuff? 4.2.2. Uh, 4.2.2. Yeah. We have uh, Atom uh, uh, Z... Uh, 3750D, uh, if I remember well, uh, which is uh, a Batewell processor. Okay. Uh, can you boot it into Windows for me now? Yeah, uh, we can. Uh, boot to Windows. All right, you just do a straight boot. You can do a straight restart to Windows without yeah, power. directly. So, cool, that's a warm start. So, oh, live. oh yeah, quick. Well, I say, let's see. Quick, uh, quick and in, yeah. in the fashion that you have to reboot, eh? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but nevertheless, as you have both environments, you can uh, have your work done in the Windows environment, switch to the Android environment to consultation, external gaming. Bienvenue. <laughs> Yeah, it comes from the Paris office, as you can <laughs> imagine. And here we are in Metro. Here wow. we are in Metro, Windows, whatever. Yeah, good luck getting your, good, finding your way around Windows 8. Oh, it works pretty well. Yeah. yeah. No, it was 3740D. Sorry. Oh, hold on, let me just 1.33 gigahertz. Okay. Mm -hmm. Intel Atom, uh, dual core, I assume. Yeah, dual core. Two gigs of RAM. Um, yeah. Okay, so. cool. I will switch back <laughs> to Android. <laughs> okay, I completely ruined your whole demo. No, mm -hmm. sorry about that. No, it's not an issue. I mean, it's important to show you that you can go to, from one to another <laughs> OS. Uh, yeah, I like that. Uh, almost a snap. Almost a snap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> almost, almost, almost instant. <laughs> Give or take. Tap five seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, so we reboot and add this in the. When you have the boot screen, you can choose either uh, Android or uh, Windows. All right. And also can choose the default system. If you don't choose anything, it will boot in the default mode that you choose. So you select default. And is that a Windows button or is that just it's, a Windows yeah. sign? It's actually a button. Here you have oh, the right. to choose. Here I, I choose the fact that we are booting by default on Android. So it, it now boots default in Android. 
Yeah. Right, and are these out yet? These these tablets in uh, they're selling in France under the Thompson label, uh, or are they coming? They are selling uh, for uh, three hundred euros. Okay. Uh, and uh, in other countries also, uh, it, will, it will also be available uh, from retailers directly under retailer brands or from uh, from other brands who want to use this device. Okay. And it's quite a nice. I mean, it's it's a quite a solid. It's quite solid. Yeah. Quite nicely built. What have we got? We got. We got USB, uh, mi micro USB, uh, mini uh, SD card, uh, mini HDMI. Right. Yeah. So all all the all the stuff. And what does it take uh, up to sixty four gigs of uh, micro yeah, SD? It, yeah. Yeah. Up to, to sixty four. Okay. And you have uh, thirty uh, two uh, gigabyte uh, flash uh, on board. Okay. For, most uh, convenient. Cool. And, and it has a, a, a handy little you little. Can, uh, plug directly to this keyboard, which is uh, so basically if you have it, if you close the lid, very easy to open, like an origami. Yes. All this like this way. Yeah. Stands perfectly in the, the screen and it's perfectly. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice keyboard as well, by the looks of it. Yeah. Bluetooth keyboard, I assume. Bluetooth keyboard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, so yeah. apparently, Fruit Ninja reads your calendar info. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder why it does that. Yeah. Oh, that's what, why you have security on your tablets to find out that kind of stuff. So, okay, so here we are. We're just going to look at the Intel Real Sense, which is a 3D motion sensing system. If you look on the top of this uh, Asus uh, laptop, you'll see two cameras and an infrared, which does all the mon uh, does all the, the real hard work. And show us. What does that mean, sir? Yeah, so typically it can track my finger position and my hand. And if I now hold my hand on this button here, track, wait a second, I can start the game. And here, for, for gaming purpose, for example, I will use my hand simply to move the small uh, fellows here. Check, check, hold in my hand and move them across safely. That's pretty cool. So that's like a, 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 a 3D or a, a gesture lemmings game. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly, uh, exactly the kind of game. And uh, of course, you can uh, have different ways to, to use your hand. Yeah? It's, I mean, if you're on, uh, your own palm, uh, also track the, the beginning of my arm. So is it, is it just for gaming? Is there anything else you can use so it for as well as gaming? You have actually... Uh, kind of application you can have is, is of course gaming and uh, different uh, control application from uh, uh, from the PC. Yeah? Uh, I mean, uh, it could be uh, used to uh, control uh, the internet, control films, etc. Moving away uh, by gesture recognition. Yeah? And unlike uh, unlike the Kinect, the thing is, you can you can, it spots fingers as well as the whole. Yeah. The Kinect spot, spots the whole hand, whereas this yeah. can so, see fingers. So the fact that you can see fingers very uh, sharply. Uh, makes you also able to invent new devices. For an example, uh, we have a, a device in, in France for, for the moment, uh, which is a harp without strings. And the uh, camera uh, is simply uh, taking a look at uh, the finger's position in the space and uh, reproduce the sound that you would have with, with the harp. The harp by cool. cool, so you can play a virtual harp. Really yeah, awesome. yeah. I'd like to see that in action. <laughs> okay, awesome, thanks. <laughs> So this is the same technology, but used yeah. in another another way. So the another same kind way, of it's, uh, so the laptop here is uh, and I don't know if you can see this projected uh, is projecting as um, uh, so I mean it's like a hologram, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you have kind of a hologram display here, uh, which is kind of a mirror with uh, with polarized. Uh, I don't know if you can see this with the camera. Yeah, it's a polar it's cool. polarized mirror. No, the camera can see it because you have only one eye on the camera. Oh, of course, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so the camera will just see it's yeah. flat, whereas yeah. it's, it's actually sticking up out of the. Mm, yeah, it's a, it's a polarized screen. Yeah. And when I move my hand here, see, I move it in uh, nowhere, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I can hit the different buttons. Chuk, chuk, chuk. 
because my finger is simply recognized by this camera and you were in space. That's really spooky. It's a shame you can't actually see how the, it hovers in space. I need a stereo camera or something, or a 3D camera, and I don't have one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> I can move the wall just by without touching, without touching anything. That's really cool. <laughs> Can I zoom? Can I do a minority report? Uh, not on this demo, <laughs> but you have all the demos on the... This is a technology demonstration of what we think the car of the future might do for us. Right. Uh, we, we feel like the car of the future will care about you. It'll care that you it knows that you're in the car. It'll care about you? Yeah. That's so sweet. That's so Disney. It, it is. <laughs> future will understand that you're in the car, it'll understand who's in the car with you, maybe a family member or maybe not a family member, it'll understand their tastes, it'll understand their preferences, it'll understand their moods, it'll understand um, what you're expecting. Um, so this is this future. is post Tesla. Uh, way post Tesla. <laughs> way post Tesla. <laughs> the car is uh, not just one computer. It's about 180 computers. What now? Yes. 180 computers. It's about 180. And uh, what do you envisage that becoming in the future then? Well, a thousand. Uh, may or may not. It just depends on maybe that there are not more. It's just that they may be more com complex. So um, we're here in London, and uh, we're maybe not in London, but something similar to London, where um, we have a car that is shared. So we'll hit the OK, and based on that shared key method, it actually authenticates and then synchronizes your data. Right. So With your phone, is this going to your phone? This is connected to your phone. Okay. And once we start this engine, we can see that we have a already an infrastructure that knows it's 35 miles per hour in this infrastructure. Oh, so you've got a heads up display in, it's in front of display. you. It's got yeah. um, a certain amount of um, knowledge base already. We'll go down the street here. Remember, I'm waiting for that important email from my doctor there. You're a very good driver. Thank you. Um, well, there it is. That's the email from my doctor. But notice it's just displayed that it's here. It just has not... It knows, it cares about me and knows that I'm, I'm, I'm not ready for it quite yet, right? Okay. So now it notices there's another stop ahead that they think is safe to look at this uh, email. So it'll come up here and come up to this stop sign here, top light here. And now the car is stopped, so now my email from my doctor is actually showing up. And it knows that it's safe. Um, lab results are in. Right. And uh, please call for an appointment. Now, my heightened emotions might come into place here, and the car might need to react a little more. So the steering might be tighter. Right. It may not allow me to accelerate quite as quickly. Right. It might uh, It might not allow me to go past the speed limit. Right. Based on the emotional state of being. So it'll govern the car for you. Wouldn't that be really annoying? Possibly. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it just uh, kind of depends. Um, yeah. We have school buses in the U.S. Right. School buses uh, cause delays, which can be inefficient. Um, when they just stop, go, stop, go. So it gives us an option to kind of reroute. Okay, so we've come to here. This, this is an infrastructure component, so the infrastructure of the school bus, notifying that I'm here, I'm stopped, comes back to this car. So this car is really aware of its surroundings, right? Um, when, when we go up to that red light... Is it doing that stop for you? It's, it's making you stop, or you stopped? I stopped. Okay, you were told to stop, okay. I have a daughter, her name is Steph. She's calling in. Okay, so it's hard to hear that, but let me just reiterate what the, what the phone call just said. Uh, there's about 20 seconds left of this red light. She called in and she said, I'm, 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 it's me, I'm done with my practice, I'm starving. And so the car has already said, hey, Steph is here. Steph, why don't you go to this other location that's predetermined? So we're kind of, kind of com combining our resources and figuring out where a good spot is to meet. And it says also that she's hungry. And so it's going to kind of know her interests and know her, her desires and choose several locations that's possible for her to eat. So we're going to come up here. It's going to determine where we meet. It looks like a great place to meet right about here. We're going to pick her up. But you, you, you don't. Um, do you have a heads up, which uh, heads up display, which is giving you that stop point? Yeah, that or? might be on this map here. We're just yeah. representing it for you. Yeah, to be able to yeah, see. yeah. Gotcha. So she gets in. Notice that her preferences come in. Now her music, her call list, her uh, the things that she was looking at, and it looks like she's got several different places that she can choose to go eat. So all these things are kind of what we envision the car of the future will care about. Yeah. <laughs> 
intrusively, you would say. Perhaps. We, we made it a little over the top on this. <laughs> okay. Thanks very much for that. It's a great demo. The first thing I want to show you is the, the uh, recently announced Intel 2-in-1 classmate, um, or actually the Intel 2-in-1 platform, educational platform. This is, this is the... Uh, the, the tablet, or it connects to the base station and provides a keyboard so that the you know student can type out their papers or their reports. And all. So it's a great uh, durable platform for the piece, you know the students to use. It also offers you know some interesting features like a little attached you know attachment to the camera, which enables them to use it like a microscope. So these are little light ports, so they can you know get right down on something and take pictures of a leaf or a, you know whatever it is. Um, which I thought that was. Great. And then this attachment plugs into the audio jack and provides a temperature sensor, so they can take temperature readings and something do scientific. Do we, or what, is there a price on it? Do we have a price on it? Um, I'm, I'm not talking price on this particular um, showing. But the main point of this device is... Is it available um, yet? Yeah, it's announced it's, a, it's available, but it goes now through uh, manufacturing. So as far as, you know, can you go out and buy one today? Uh, no, it's not available today. But it is, um, it is an announced product, you know, that's come out. It's, a, it's going to be... Um, for sale at some point in the future. Right, okay. But also, um, this platform here um, has another unique feature. It's an optional um, alternative power architecture that enables this platform to charge using a solar panel about this size. So, I mean, I was doing this earlier, but I essentially plug this in just like I would the power adapter. But place that in the sun, and I can charge this this two in one. And the two in platform then you know can go anywhere in the world and be used you know as a student platform for learning. And it will it will charge efficiently. I mean the the big problem with solar, of course, is that it's not as efficient as as you'd like it to be. Well, what's happening is we're measuring the amount of available power at the port, and we're determining whether or not we can use it. So if a cloud comes over or it gets too dark, then it'll shut the port off and not use it. If I did that with a conventional laptop or a tablet or something like that, what happens is, is that as the power comes up on the solar panel, eventually it sees the voltage that it wants. You know, it comes up and says, oh, I can do some work with this, and it turns on its power circuit, which immediately causes a load that brings the voltage below its threshold, and you end up with this oscillation. Um, that can eventually potentially do damage to that circuit. What this does is it's always monitoring that power coming in on the port and it's using it as best it can. You know, it's been running all day and you can see it's, uh, it's doing all right. Show me, show me the proof, show me the money. So it's a, so there's a two battery system. This piece is at 15% on the base right. and we're at 89% on the, on the tablet. And that's all, after all day, what time is it now? It's about? Yeah, I started about eight o'clock. So it's, it's like 3.30. It's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'll run the video, you can kind of see. So what's the processor in it? It's an Atom. Dual core? Dual core? Um, oh, yeah, show me whatever. I mean, it's just... The video is nice, I like the screen. Yeah, it actually it's really quite runs really good. Yeah. So, so Adam uh, Z374 1.3 Yeah, it's got, two, it's got 133 and 133, so. Oh, dual core, yeah, with 2 gigs of RAM. And Touch Sport Windows 8.1. A nice little box. I know. I was talking to someone earlier, and they're going, "I want one." <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's cute. It's cute. I can see it being, uh, you know, this all-in-one little, a little stylus. Kids will love it. Nice and light. Yep. The really the the official name for this particular platform is the Intel Education Two in One. Two in One. Yeah. Two being tablet and and laptop. Right. Okay. Right.